Thank you, Senator Carper. Um, the main thing, as you said, is getting vaccines in arms. And from the day he was elected president to today and going forward, President Biden has relentlessly focused on delivering millions and millions of vaccines all over our nation. And so I'm proud to join my senior Senator Tom Carper, our Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, Janice Nevin, and everybody here, Dr. Nevin, um, at Christiana Care, to simply say thank you. Thank you for the progress that we've made. We're about to hear from one of those vaccinators and one of the vaccinated. Um, which will give us some insight into the challenges of making sure that every Delawarean and every American gets vaccinated. We're at a critical turning point right now. Weeks ago, months ago, the question was, how do I get a vaccine? There weren't as many doses as there were people seeking them. I don't know about you, but extended members of my family with pre-existing conditions, family members in their 80s were having difficulty a month ago getting an appointment. Now here in Delaware, Thanks to the great leadership of Governor Carney and the Department of Public Health and um, DHHS, um, we've got availability for everybody over 16. And soon I think we'll have an emergency use authorization for folks below 16 and be able to vaccinate almost literally everyone who could possibly want it. So the only way we get out of this is to vaccinate absolutely everybody. And one of the things I had the chance to talk with Bettina about beforehand was how Christiana Care isn't just sitting here passively waiting for people to show up, isn't just waiting for folks to check into the website, but is taking teams and going out and doing proactive community vaccination sessions. That's the only way we get past health equity challenges. Health equity challenges are a combination of affordability, availability, and accessibility. And so overcoming some of those physical barriers to access. Most of us who are younger have social media. We can look on our websites or email and get the right contacts. Vaccine at Delaware.gov. If you just send an email to vaccine at Delaware.gov, you can get information back about how to make an appointment. But one of the things I've struggled with is the number of Delawareans who've called my office trying to figure out how to do this because they don't have access to the internet. They don't have email. So I'm grateful for what Christiana Care is doing in proactively reaching out to folks. Anybody who's listening or watching who doesn't have access to the internet or email, call my office at 573-6345. Or call the, de the Department of Public Health at 866-408-1899. And recognize if you are someone who's got access to the internet, to social media, to email, that you probably have a relative, a friend, someone you worship with, someone you see at the store, someone you know from growing up who's hesitant, who isn't certain about how to do this and needs your help reaching out and getting it done. The three of us worked hard with colleagues across the aisle and across both chambers, actually mostly in our party, let's be blunt, um, to get past a bill, the American Rescue Plan. The American Rescue Plan is principally focused on getting us out of this pandemic. And we appropriated $93 billion and a fair amount of that is specifically to deliver more vaccines. Some of it's for contact tracing, some of it's for support for the healthcare workforce that has been so tested and challenged by this pandemic and has done such an amazing job, but a whole lot of it is to get more doses of more vaccines and more arms more quickly. 16 million of that comes here to Delaware specifically and strengthens um, the trajectory and the delivery in this effort. One small piece that I fought hard for in the American Rescue Plan was doubling the funding for AmeriCorps, the National Service Program. Um, and the American Health Corps, the, excuse me, the National Health Corps is about to open uh, a chapter here in Delaware. There are 30,000 AmeriCorps members around the country who have helped with pandemic response, including teams that have helped deliver the state mass vaccination events at Dover Downs Motor Speedway. Um, they've helped with food banks, they've helped with schools, but more than anything, AmeriCorps members during this a terrible pandemic have helped with vaccine distribution. Let me mention one last thing that I was discussing with President Biden a week ago today. We have to get every American vaccinated as soon as we possibly can. But then we have to turn to being concerned with the world because there are whole regions of the world that do not yet have access uh, to vaccines. And this is a truly global challenge much like climate change, 
Um, we cannot build walls and prevent the rest of the world from getting into the United States. So once we get ahead of the variants and get ahead of the need for us to vaccinate every American and do the great work Christiana Care is doing in terms of addressing health equity, we should also be working closely with our partners around the world. We funded the world-class cutting edge science and research that delivered vaccines on an astonishing timeline. Anyone who was a virologist more than a year ago said there's no way we'll have safe and effective vaccines for the world in less than a year. And medical researchers did that. Now it's up to folks like the folks here at Christiana Care to make sure that we're able to deliver those vaccines, which are safe and effective. And we just did our small part in providing the resources to help with that outreach, help with the education, and help with the delivery of vaccinations. I am so excited for the day when we can all gather without needing hand sanitizer, without needing masks, without needing a pause between speakers to cleanse. But between now and then, we have a lot of very hard work to do. And our president and his cabinet are relentlessly focused on getting it done. And we as a delegation are focused on delivering these vaccines and the support to make them possible. Let me now introduce my friend and colleague, our Congresswoman uh, who helps send us terrific bills week in and week out, which the Senate then ponders deeply, <laughs> deeply. Um, our founders, our framers did intend uh, the Senate to be the saucer that cooled the hot tempers of the House. We seem to be overperforming in that category these days. But we appreciate the contributions, the partnership, the values uh, that our Congresswoman brings to her service each and every day. Thank you very much.